Like I mentioned, one player over towards C Long. And he's going to be on the front lines of that. It's going to be Superman taking down Jay-Z. Standing shot up with a return frag, but saw him in the back lines. Again, good crossfire. And not only that, but good anti-flash. You're still going to have Salma around the corner just to try to capitalize. J-Mo, a good attempt. But the rifles have failed immortals. Neptune now, the last person remaining in a 1v3. Incredibly low on HP. He's already revealed for left. info. Oh, Shakhtar almost finished him off. Oh, 25 seconds left. The best thing that he can do is try to get that spike down, but watch out for the jet that has to cross. It's going to be none other than Odorous. Three Girls, Haven was the last in third, or the final in third map that they played. That went 13 to 11 in favor of the Immortals. So, currently Dignitas having a really solid start. 3-0 up. It should be a guaranteed fourth, not to mention probably more to come after, just given the way their economy is set up and the way that Immortals have theirs. Very fragile at this given point, but they have taken the C sites. Perhaps a little bit of a broken area for Dignitas. The spike will inevitably go down. Four versus five now. JC Stani hoping to get something here in Garage. Josie Stani, he's not going to be the one to capitalize. Instead, it's actually going to be shot up from right behind. Odorous in a little bit of a weird spot. These stingers can be oh so dangerous, but Def now, he's farming, making a third form. Round has been swept up back for Dignitas at the very end, so they restrict the bleeding, but great attempt from Immortals over towards Garage. They overwhelm, and they really just concentrate all the- Scenario Psalm has been and has inevitably spotted out by that Aldrone, but him and Def sit tight on this A-bomb site. Neptune, he might have been full blind, but he still gets that frag. Lockdown to go in and Neptune, he's gotta be the aggressor, and he has to find these frags, but he's only able to collect one for now. Ganks is able to locate and trace back that lockdown, and it gives him a little bit more room to work, or should I say it gives him a little bit more room to work with. Ganks said now left in a one versus three. There is a spike on his back, but the position's assumed here by the rest of Dignitas. Definitely doesn't favor him whatsoever. Not at all. He knows that someone's over towards Zong, especially with an early shot and really just the round flow in general. Just good comms. But of course, he does have the spike. If he does escape over towards short, he's going to get trapped. If he wants to escape back towards main, he's trapped. So almost literally the only place that he could possibly stay at is this A site. Just has to vibe out. That dart isn't going to catch anything, but in goes the paranoia. No drop just yet, so Ganks is actually chilling at the moment. There's no flashes to even take him out. So if anything, he could just keep fragging. But Odorous snags a huge one onto Gangsta. Yeah, the spike is going to help him out in terms of economy, but that was a buy around for Immortals. Dignitas are rolling over the squad. Yeah, for sure. have a big opportunity off this Hunter Fury. Makalov, you got to be kidding me with that. He ends up hitting three players off of that one. Jeez. So much damage done onto these players on site. And not only that, but that just makes the task, the task for Dignitas so much easier. In goes Death. You do have a Molly in the corner, but that's not actually going to connect. That's not going to actually equate into a kill. In comes Shana. Put Jimo on the front lines. Gets traded out. Last person remaining is that two now with a spray down. But in Makalov comes in with a jumping classic in in the scuffle in the chaos start of the recon bolt and he'll more than likely need to save onto that for the retake as once again the car crash a 5v5 retake so death launching out through who's on that front end good stuff from odorous early on just to get a kill over towards a long but not only that but oh listen to the noise odorous is making at the moment i don't think we actually can but he's stomping his way all the way back towards site so the person watching short for immortals he's just gonna be chilling on site now look at this superman just right from behind that's a beautiful teleport that could open up this entire round and indeed it will superman steps up four versus five dignitas are on the back foot though they're coming on in for this retake, and it leaves four players here for the likes of Immortals on this C site with one player lurking down towards middle. One person lurking, but it's still going to be Som up close to try to get the kill, and he indeed does. And now in comes the Killjoy ulti. It's incredibly strong for retakes, and you see it once again. JC standing wow. stuck in a corner. Odorous gonna be able to take him down. Now every other player for this team stuck over towards Long. You have Odorous quickly trying to get himself that flank over towards. Oh my God! Over towards Market, and it's working. Gangsta through the wall, however, and now JMO is here. Gangsta. Get Again, they still do have a uh, player I lurking over towards C, but it, it is going to be minute for now. Def. Still taking on an interaction. Three players approaching between main and heaven. And now look at Odorous now. He's got the knives up close. Needed that shot. It's a shot up now. In comes Superman. Oh, oh my God. 
gets himself too. Knows that there's going to be a person flanking. And, I mean, it's it, the round's over. The round is over. Hunter's Fury currently in the hands of... Uh-oh. Of the God, silver. you're lying. You're lying. Wait, whoa, whoa. You're lying. What are you're they lying. doing? What you're are they doing? What? Shame on... What a clutch that would have been. Basically a 1v4, two off the Sheriff, and then a Ninja oh. Tiki's essentially gangster, though. Ooh. It's flushing players on out. It will be an assist on Hunter's Fury for shot up. They clear out the C site. Spike goes down. Def waiting alongside the smoke. Three versus four now. He'll push on through, but he's tagged 66. Okay. Still gets a frag nonetheless. It's down to a 3v3 here, Gus. And his HP, it has been taken away from him. They do still have the run-up back for Psalm. But how does he generate space? How does he utilize this to open up the C site? There are players waiting inside it. Players waiting all around. And with that kill, they concede exactly garage control. And how big of a control would it be to hold on to? Oh, in comes JC Stanny. Good off angle. There's only one person remaining. He's all the way, he's all the way in his spawn. Great stuff at the very end. So Immortals winning the last four near the end of the first half, and now in the second half, not Zignit sauce. Down to pistols, which again it makes sense. We're talking about a double eco, or we're we're just talking about an eco round period. The the method of double ecos is really when you get hard reset, and they haven't been hard hard reset just yet. So we are just dealing with uh, ah. with just a hard eco at the moment. Funny stuff for Jamo. But even then, Neptune over towards mid. Very unfortunate. Not able to get all the damage in the world, but finally able to take down Makalov. There's still one more player for him to take down. Actually, two in that mid area. But Superman and ends up getting the frag with the classic. Potentially another one for Psalm if he can snag down a frag with a pistol. But it's simply not going to happen. Shot up. Gets himself three. And just like that. Do that while I'm casting. This is a community stream for a reason. Kind of don't have those resources. But we'll fix them as soon as we can. A little bit of a hole in the side of the boat. Maka should get this frag. He was full blind. Essentially, I don't know if Dap is going to swing the back there, but he does have a frenzy. And it is only good for one, unfortunately. Got a little bit scary, I'd say, with uh, Def all the way. The Hunter's Fury, with your own Hunter's Fury, knowing that your opponent is just going to be stuck in that one position, is just, it's almost genius. Good stuff coming in from the Dignitas side. And I'm saying that purely because they've just been looking for frags. They need some sort of opening. And although they got it, they already lost out on one player. It's already back to a four on four. Shot up in a beautiful position. Beautiful off angle towards his foot. Oh, towards long. He's oh. still going to be able to take down orders. Fat frag, but even then, the site might be taken up by the Dignitas side. Watch out for the cross. J-Mo can't get the shot in. So now it's a three on two, Sully. Spike planted. Uh, shot up killed as well on the flank. That could have been big had he kept his life alive. JC Stani has crawled back into the site. Phantom in hand, but a vandal to his space. Psalm rips him apart. It's just down to Neptune. Can he find anything in this site? He works alone. Neptune crawling, crouching into it. Finds the first. No damage done as all. Well. He even has an ult to play with, but he needs this frag. He's dinked down as well. The timing's not on his side. He could have had the frag on the Psalm. But Psalm peeks around at the perfect moment and pulls the truth. And sorry, take it out before it has any implications. And oh, that curveball. That does literally nothing. JC Stani sending even in a paranoia to help his teammate shot up out. But Odorous has digressed. Pushing forward into the site. Pushing beyond the limits. And it's netted Dignitas here. Two kills. Shock dart from Gangsta doesn't do too much damage, but damage dealt onto at least one. Psalm is sitting on a sliver of HP, and they don't have that omen. They don't have those extra smokes. They've only got jets, and they only last for X amount of time. So someone's got to get on the spike, and he's already used two here. Jamo's expending them all. Spray from Psalm, but a spray back goes his way. They're already on the spike. Tap to... Have to have here. Nano survey doesn't even connect. I thought that could have been the killing blow, but instead it's a shock dart. And Def has got Gangsta inside. Immortals are just trying to clear out this A bomb site. Surprisingly, Gangsta sees nothing, but that doesn't mean there is nobody there. They'll double check. They'll put two players here. Jamo even investigating with the op. Psalm finds a big frag, but nobody here on the side of Immortals has bitten into it. Two players still the way. Gangsta's got to get the frag, but down he goes. Jamo's got to go massive. He needs to get frags here, and if he doesn't. Round could be over. Dashing in, that is way too risky. Jamo might have just made a play that could have cost them the game. Could have cost them the map. And now just two players, one player remaining, and a 1v5 JC Stani has to do something astonishing. Cover going out. 
At least has a chance. <laughs> Took down at least one. That chance is dwindling. There's two players right behind this, but there's a... Oh, no. This is disastrous. And a fling from Psalm. Go back towards middle and Gangsta. He's really the only thing that waits here. He does have Neptune not too far off of him, but he'll make the first contact, and Neptune will be looking to swing. Judge in the face, two kills to the wayside, but it won't be for Gangsta. Instead, it will be for Neptune. A paint shell grenade at the bottom of Mac's feet, but it does still continue to aggress. Shakes will find the frag back, and well, that puts them down a 3v1 where Dignitas, they walked in with Stingers, and they walk out with only just the one man of Superman. That utility he's got. The rest, though, stingers, the assortment of all different weird economic or eco guns as the rush comes in. Shanks backs away. He's got Gangsta right in front. Oh. He's taking the bait. And One Gangsta, he's bad. actually netted two frags there. Shanks won't be able to get much, but Neptune is sure to arrive in the nick of time. Three frags. What is a split over towards the A site, but they haven't exactly executed oh, just yet. They're just waiting for what would be to set up, waiting for the call out. And indeed, it, indeed, he comes in. JC Stan with, with a good paranoia. The showstopper is going to be able to take down Odorous. No, around the corner. JC Stan, he had been waiting for a, a little while there. And now Sob, 1v5. Going to be able to catch one. Oh no! my god! The spray down. They line up for him. And they almost line up for him again. Now he only has 30. Still has the ulti ready. Could be able to pull it out at any point. But Gangsta still looking over there in the corner. That w perfect replacement for shot up in a situation like this. He's able to get aggressive. He's really good on that finger. And with the trigger, he's even better. Dashing on away. It won't exactly be a dash like you've got for the jet, but he will be able to back out. JMO as well, able to get one frag. So a good bait and switch. And now they know where the player in the side of B main is. Neptune with that camera, a little bit sneaky. And they don't expect it, nor does Depth expect Neptune to be so close. 4v2. Exactly and it's a really good setup here for the likes of Immortals. Opening frags found. Good setup. Set up on the B bombs like crossfires to be held. Faith and Neptune to lock down B main and Macchio with 30 HP and a dream to hold on to this round, but it's not going to be lasting for long. He does pick up the first, but that puts it only down to just three. And there is Shanks waiting around the corner. Oh, that flash good for Macca. The round done and dusted, and this time it was due to aggressiveness left. from Immortals. If you didn't think that this team was already dangerous enough just by focusing on choke points and just focusing on anti-takes, this team just holding W is more than efficient. Now JC Stanny in a good ink. Gonna be able to take down Maka. And Dignitas, I think they'll do what they can to try and commence a retake with the weapons they've got on. Here comes Odorish. Shanks around the corner with a Spectre. Just easy piece for him, but now saw him. He already woke up a little bit in that first half and could be able to capitalize. Retake now, fully underway for Tignitas. And again, all of these players are sitting up on site. It could be a lineup and a half. Shanks, however, still holding Jeez. his own with the Spectre. It's too easy peasy. Def now has a Spectre trying to put up a fight, but Shanks is just farming for frags. Basically, yeah, there isn't enough economy here for the likes of Dignitas to really continue pushing, but a paranoia, Superman, that'll try and hold them back, but it won't stop that spike from making its way on in. But Psalm can maybe have a thing to say about that. Odorous, prime position as well. Oh. Over the Cypher Cage catches one, but a trade immediately back, and Shanks is still tearing up the server. Two versus two. Spike yet to go down, and JC's done. He's got another big frag. The two combined, they've been deadly so far, and against just death. The odds of him pulling this one off does indeed seem extremely unlikely. Smoke down on the defender side and death. He's got to be the aggressor. Spike has been tapped. It will now be stuck. Shanks the first fight. He's got to win. If they, were, if they just kept being aggressive, they would be able to take up a game. But now at this point, Immortals, they're trying to do it again. They have the rifles. They have the combination. But now Som has the ulti. The Empress of Darkness. But through the smoke, JC Stanny, a Hail Mary. And it ends up connecting in the end zone. And now Neptune snacks down another one. It's a cross. Putting a lot on the shoulders of Neptune. JMO here as well. He's got a Spectre apologies, a phantom in his hands, and Odorous has ripped it out from his dead hands. Trade back from Shankso. Good aggression towards middle, but I love what they've just done. What that Odorous had no intentions of leading his team into the bomb site. All he wanted to do was draw those players away, and he's done exactly that. Alarm bus been triggered off as well. Death right beneath the heavens. JC Stani, the only one here. They don't even know that he's here. So as soon as that spike is tapped, JC Stani, he's gonna be forced into a wide swing, but instead, no nothing. 
Death isn't going for it whatsoever. They've got the first dragon. Now that JC Stun is revealed, he'll be pincered by all three players around him, but he does get away with one frag. Flushed out by the shock dart inevitably. And Dignitas once more, a three versus one. And they should have a three round leader unless Shank can make something happen. Shanks is around, he's revealed up. Still has an opportunity back, still a couple of shoulder peaks, and it's all too tough for him. So Dignitas with the SMGs. Dignitas, they were hoping that maybe Odorous gets spotted out, but all is well. Death finds a great shot straight to the offensive spawn, and even better, Psalm takes down another. Neptune's only good for two. Yes, it's a great lineup in the hindsight, but unfortunately, later down the line, it doesn't have many implications, but that does. Spike drop, JC Stone in the back set off of the TP. This is looking good. Odorous in a 1v1 now, though. 30 seconds he is left. able to get himself one. And Spike is not going down. Odorous at this point. So ballsy to even go for this. And he's still able to get the knives down onto JC Stanny. Fake ends up failing and they end up getting just a full bait in a sense or a full commitment. They can at least get a spike down back and at least have a chance in the round. In comes Gang said to take down Odorous and it's a very quick take in from Dignitas. And <laughs> you, hey, you hate to see if you're Som. You're just stuck in the corner and not only that, but the paranoia ends up catching you off. One more player remaining over towards the main area. There's one chilling in mid the teleport is actually going to come into market and there's one still chilling on site neptune with a spray down so much damage taken on to superman but it just doesn't matter he's able to survive and in goes way. the spike down death good off angle it's a little bit too off for jmo to predict it he has to keep going jc standy goes for the wide swing and that's massive because now their last target low on hp and he has to be a little bit aggressive superman he's pulled these off before but can he do it again a 5v5 retake so like you said, it's like you can watch in a car crash. You can't take your eyes off of it. Neptune, eyes are locked in. Hoping to catch someone on that heaven. Jump up, but down he goes. And down he goes again. Superman with a big double. But here comes JC Stani. He's been so affluent on this site. But unfortunately, he's shut down by the opposing omen. This one, maybe more to come with this operator. This is where it needs to shine. This is where Shanks needs to come up big. But he's shut down before he can get himself going. Odorous, quick swing. Tracked through the Cypher Cage, Depp has spotted Neptune, and now comes this execution. Depp has taken a tucking position straight towards Long, and Dignitas, they've got the man advantage, but Jamo's still lurking around. He doesn't have that blade storm, so he's really got to rely heavily on his ability to frag with the Operator. Takes the more optimal gun, but doesn't take the optimal fight. Saw him around the corner swing, wins that dueling gangsta, stuck between a rock and a hard place, and it's Machia that crushes him, and Dignitas take their aid. But Dignitas are on their doorstep and waiting and watching. There. Spike planted. Waiting, watching, biding their time. So a little bit of a rough scenario, but Dignitas st could still put on quite a bit of economic damage off of this. Shanks with a hard hold. What would be this stairs extremity and oh my god! Shanks straight through Boathouse, able to get himself no a third way, and Shanks. make it a fourth. They have family. Actually opt to go over towards B. There's someone playing fast rotate. Over in market, they need to watch out quick. Neptune has gone down to 52 HP of a headshot. And now Maka with a couple of frags. Make it two, potentially make it a third. He has a great headshot angle and could capitalize. He actually gets himself a third. Are you kidding me? 2v2, J-Mo and JC standing. The equated. J-Mo now has to step up to the plate. Do you still have the sheriff down in Def's hands? J-Mo missing on in the shots. Def going for the peak, left. but it's not working. Smoke up. 25 seconds left. There's still some time. Whoa. Oh, Jamo. he's got the angle. There's he's got the angle. Oh, there's barely a gap in the smoke. Def can't go for the peak. And Sorry, yeah, no, he is almost literally just waiting. Just lets it go. Spike Every planted. single person has congregated the A site in terms of immortals. And just like that, the round should just be about over. But it still is a good chance for potentially one of these players or two to overwhelm. They're about to waterfall out, but Shanks has the right position. Get 
Oh, right beneath it as well. That one oh, way one is way. so, so perfect. It really doesn't get better than that. A Ooh, perfect combination between him and JMO. Otis with the blades from out. Sheets back the knives. And Neptune cleans it up into the skies. Immortals 10 to 8 continue to Edo characters, except for that omen. And he's not using the paranoia. He's one of the charging players. And JMO up top of the box is looking for some frags. Shot through, but doesn't connect. Salmo gets one back on the shanks. But I don't know if there's going to be much more to play with here. Jamo has been forced off the ankle, but they are still congregated towards middle. It is a fiesta, and the B bomb site is the party. There's nobody here for them, and Immortals, a vacant bomb site, and a free spike plant in Dignitas. I hate to say it, they do have guns, but the odds of them pulling this one out are slim to none. A fiesta of frags. And what could continue. It might just be a siesta resident sleeper at this point because Psalm on that front lines. He gets pinched out, but Makalov on that front line is going to be able to take down one. There's still one person that could pop out from B main very soon for that crossfire, but it's simply not going to happen. Now Maka just has to take on this hard 1v1 real quick, but he just teleports on back. He's going to take up a better position to try to play up on this defuse. That is a beautiful play, delaying so much time for Makalov. Well played by JC Stanny. Well set remaining. up by Immortals Pier. They're still not afraid to go back towards B. His position is ever changing as well, Odorous. That constant movement on the operator does pose a risk. If he's caught up the wrong second where he's mid movement, it just throws off his aim a little bit too much, and down he could go. Odorous still. Boathouse is his position. Right click from the oh. blade storm. And unfortunately, Normal uses and there. expends all the knives in that one click. And Dignitas, no they've conceded the B bombs. Like positions taken up. Information given off of that Hunter's Fury. Hunter's Fury is going back in both directions. And there needs to be frags now. JC Stani has put his teammate Gangsta in a one versus two. He knows where one could be. Logs. He might have heard the noise. He's got shock darts to flush him out, and he needs to flush him no. out now. Oh. Gangsta misses the frag. Oh. And Dignitas are on 11. One more round, and the money for Immortals is gone. They the end of this game. They might just get the four rounds they were looking for. And what a great way it would be to end it. Neptune straight on through the cypher cage. But if he wants to keep going like that, maybe just maybe we won't see OT. Odorous dashes away, and the retake for Dignitas commences a four versus five. Spike down and a position assumed Spike here by the Immortals planted. to hopefully, hopefully close this one out in regulation to make it 13 to 11. Unreal. So Immortals now with a man advantage. JC Stanny has the off angle, but has a firing range to fight with. The smoke is about to dissipate. But even then, he's even not going to peek out. In goes Shanks. Going to be able to take down Death. Still some of the front lines. Still JC standing, waiting up for the peek. Shanks, he pops up. Now there's only one player remaining. Shanks with a three. 